Hi everybody, Pam Huntoon here from Techni Chunkies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cloud Edger stencil from A Colorful Life Designs, available from Techni Junkies, to create beautiful cloud backgrounds very simply. So I'm going to show you one that's just blue and one that has more colors to it. So I'm starting with Distress Oxide Faded Jeans and I'm using Nina Solar White cardstock. It's just folded in half. And I am going to start with the edger. Now there's all kinds of different edges here. They're not, these are the most realistic edges that I have seen in any sort of uh, cloud. It do, they're not so cartoony. So there's two ways you could use this. I could simply just take this and start my cloud at the top. Now you don't want to use pixie spray on this because if you do, you have to move it around a bit. So you don't want to get that pixie, move that pixie spray all over the place. So just hold it firmly with one hand while you use a blending brush and uh, your ink on the second. Now I prefer Distress Oxide inks because I think they really blend beautifully. So I'm gonna use that there. And I just went straight across. So that's the simplest way to make your top cloud. I wipe off in between top and bottom because I don't wanna get any smudgy ink along there. Now to add additional clouds it's simpler than you think same distress oxide very very light touch very light touch like you're not, almost not even touching it and you're going to get the definition of those clouds see how i'm just barely putting ink over the top of that just pushing a little out here and there using different different parts of the stencil Very simple. That's the simplest way that you can add these clouds. I can add a little along the bottom or I can have this as if you're looking up at it. Just create the bottom there. Very, very simple way to put clouds on your cardstock. That is just beautiful. And you saw how fast that was. That was in real time. Okay, so let's make one more colorful. And again, I would suggest that you Google clouds, um, <laughs> believe it or not. If you Google clouds, if you want a cloud at sunset, if you want a brooding sky, just Google those words. And photographs of skies will come up, and that will help you in making your clouds. So here I'm just going to be using stencil edge to edge. Don't lose this outer edge because this outer edge is great for the bottom of your clouds. So you could see if I did that, I'm going to get a great edge. Now you don't want to go off the edge. So I've seen many people put paper along the bottom, um, a piece of paper there for today because I didn't put any paper down to protect it. I'm just going to take a piece of copy paper and go over it. And don't forget, I can move that. Nice outer edge. A little cloud definition going on there. And let's add some other colors. Okay, so you want to make sure this is nice and cleaned off in between. I'm going to add some wilted violet here. I'm just going to go right up to and over the edge of that cloud. This is Wilted Violet Distress Oxide. Purple in there. Okay, so one of the things I noticed when I was looking at the clouds in uh, on Google is that there's a lot of reflection of color on the clouds not just the edges, but actual reflection of the color. So a lot of, if I want a purple cloud, I need to go over that with purple. And the top edge too. So I'm just gonna give that a little purple shot there. 
remember I can always go back over any of these edges if I want to add more blue okay so now I have more purpley look to that top part let's wipe that off let's add some orange we want a Halloween sky here let's do this edge so I'm going to create a definition the cloud underneath it and then I'm going to push that orange color all the way up gently I'm using a much lighter touch than I did along the edge but over the blue that I put down before I'm, again I'm reflecting the color of the sky and then I think I'm just going to add a bottom edge to this cloud up into a sunset sky and fill it in a little bit with color and then if you want to add just a little bit more definition if that's just too color 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 take some more of that faded jeans color and maybe you don't have to match it up perfectly I'm going to try to find my edge here. If I can, I'm not going to worry about it. The part I used here, I'm going to turn this over. There we go. I'm just going to add a little, little brooding blue there. Just give it more definition. Just a tiny little bit. See how that popped that right out? And if I can find this one, great. If I can't, I'll just go add a little there. See if I can find this edge. Again, if you can't find the edges and you can't match them up, it's not a big deal. But it's great if you can watch. Yeah, that's kind of matched up. I just add a little rooting blue there. Just a tiny little bit. See how that makes a difference? It just really brings some definition to that. Oh, this is going to be easy to do this. Just a tiny little touch of it, of blue to it. It makes those clouds just pop. It makes those clouds just pop off the page. Add a little blue here, a little blue here. And you can just really see how I've made that pop. I have a lot of clouds on here. You don't have to use that many, but you can see how they pop off. Oh, I've watched a lot of videos on these and Chris Dayton has some excellent videos on using these cloud edger stencils, but I saw her use a white gel pen along the top edge of her clouds to make her clouds pop. So out of all of these white pens, not one of them works. Isn't that the way our lives go with white gel pens? So that is how, um, very colorful with lots of clouds you don't have to add this many clouds to your piece i was just trying to show you a point i also wanted to show you this one because what i did with this is i wanted to soften the colors without adding the ink like that so what i did was added harvest sunset shimmering bliss over the top of this and then i just added a couple more clouds in in blue just actually one cloud in, in blue to add some definition back in and I think it turned out pretty cool. So that is how you use the cloud at your stencil. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and we'll give the stencil a try. It's pretty cool, pretty easy and creates great backgrounds. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time.